Okay, so here's a nice little riff from a band I enjoy to listen to sometimes, Rush. Uh, it's called Spirit of the Radio. They're a prog rock band. And you're probably thinking prog rock might not be your style or anything, but the good thing about this riff, it's working on a few little techniques. It's a little riff, it's not too intense, so there's no reason why you can't learn it, even if you don't like Rush or don't like prog rock. It'd be good to get your hands moving. So uh, before I start, I'm just going to demonstrate it because it's only small. I'll demonstrate it and then I'll, uh, and then I'll take you through it. So that's a lot of it, uh, a lot of the main riff, and then it goes to this section. Okay, so I'm going to show you the tab. If you look here, you'll see that they say the first bit is 2P0, so P stands for pull off. So you can see in between every every uh, couple of notes there's a p so you're always pulling off to the zero so i'm going to show you what a pull off is so i'm going to do this first one on the first string a two to a zero so we're starting on the two and if i was to play them notes individually i go two zero so i'd pluck them but what it's asking you to do is pull off so you pluck the two and you pull it off so you can see this finger is creating the note by just doing that so I'm picking it with this finger rather than over here so you pluck the two and then you pull off so it's a good little technique to do and you're probably thinking why do I need to do that why can't I just go if I played you a riff I like, and then I did it with pull offs Rather, you can see that the one where I'm picking every note sounds a bit robotic and disjointed. Maybe that's the sound you're after. But if you can, if you notice when I pull off a note, it sounds smoother. So that's that's why it's good to be able to do pull off notes. So two zero, and then you go to the string above on the third fret, and you go three zero. So, little finger on the five, and that's on the first string. Back to the three zero. So that's this. So just practice that very first bit. I'm gonna zoom in on just that one bit there. So two zero, up a string to three zero. Back down a string, five zero, up a string, three zero. So it goes. Now what you've got to make sure you don't do, and this is quite a common thing, is when you do the three zero, to catch this string below it. Because if you're pulling down there, you can easily catch that one. So you want to, Make the pull off small, what's this? So it doesn't go far enough to then pick the string below it. So, so even though I'm plucking it off, I'm not doing that. I'm, it's a very small pull off. Okay, so the next bit is the same riff, but instead of five zero, it's four zero. So that goes. So instead of there, you go into here. So. Don't worry about getting it up to speed. Uh, fast jet just go slow 
Okay, so it does the five, then the four, then the five, then the four. So it alternates between the two. I'll show you what that looks like again. So if I just stretch this out. So you could say two zero, three zero, five zero, three zero, two zero, three zero, four zero, three zero. So this this note and that note keeps changing. So I'll play this slow. It is one of them, once you get used to it, it is easy to pick up the speed on it. Okay, so I'm going to show you the next main section in it. There's a lot of sections in this song. There's a lot of uh, big bar chords and that, but I'm just showing you the couple of main riffs out of it. So here we start on the sixth string and it goes zero, and then two, three, four. And then we go on the fifth string, zero, two, three, four. And then we end on the fourth string on a two. Okay, let's hit the right string. Zero, two, three, four. Zero, two, three, four, then two. This is a shout out to my brother as well, Jim. He taught me this riff when I was 12 years old. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't have uh, really developed on guitar because he taught me for quite a long time. And he used to teach me these little riffs. And even though I'd just learned little riffs here and there, it was enough to just get my skills going. And over time, you develop to playing the whole song. So you've got to start somewhere. Um, so if you notice what fingers I'm using, I'm not going. Although you might want to do that to learn. If you notice, I can't get the speed up with one finger. So watch this. So when I move to the next string up, I use another finger then another finger. And then that thing, that thing is, thing is, wing is, wait, wait, in there. See, this, uh, anything on the, this riff, anything on the second fret, use your first finger, then your second finger, little finger, and when you do the four zero, use your third finger. So, whatever fret you're playing here, use the finger that corresponds. Third finger now, little finger. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Nice, fun little riff to have a muck about with. Uh, let me know what you think of it. <laughs> if it's your cup of tea, or maybe you might never have learnt it and you found that you actually like it. So that'd be nice to hear. All right, thank you very much.